Buccal Etive Maw. Looking lovely, looking lovely. You should see the curved ridge. Where's the water slab? There's not much water in the water slab. I see it. So there's the curved ridge there. Somebody's up the top already. Yeah. Somebody's up the top already. Glenetif. And we're back out on the hills with Pedro today. After a long time, now well, over a year. Over a year without me and Pedro, we've re engaged. Pedro's been going solo. And the weather's been crap for us to go. That's the big buckle and the wee buckle. This is uh, Glenetif. We're parking just down here. So the most difficult thing I usually find is uh, getting a parking space. So there we've got a superb bottle space there, and we've got the kind of Lotus Owners Club or something down here, and that's where we're heading over that away because that's Ben Starav. We don't want to get Ben Starav. It's a short walk downhill and you come to this cutesy pie piece of river with the River Etif. It's quite windy today actually. And there are very cold ones as well. It's a decent path and then it's going to pass a renovated house soon. Oh, we follow this path here to the left. This is just after the bridge over the River Etif. Went over some bog. Just to let you know, that's where my car is parked, right there. And you walk down that bit there, crossing the river. Then you're greeted with this sight. Fuck, was that a Clegg? Bastards. Um, you've got uh, Ben Starav in the clouds on the right, and you've got Glass Mole over on the left. And, uh, we're not doing any of those. We're keeping well left. Hope that's the bog fest done. Here's me with my good um, boots on. And they are mock it. Even though we've had a long dry spell. There's my car tucked in there over on the left. So that's where we've came. And that's where we're going. Not exactly up there, we're going left. Because we don't need to do Ben Sturrav. So the bog fest finishes, you reach this little tree. Now, when Pedro and I did Ben Nan Alligan, we crossed over to the other side of the river at this point. Because you've got those series of waterfalls coming down off that side. I can't remember what that's called. Um, a lovely Scots pine there. But, for the two we are doing today, Mil Nan Yun and, what's the other one called? Albanac. Uh, Stop Cory Albanac, Pedro uh, tells me. We need to stick to the left. Stick to the left. This bit here is rather nice, isn't it? Glass mall behind. Good. What's not to like about here? Apart from the bog fest. So we're over the left. There's no real path there. We came along and we went up basically one of the waterfalls coming from the, the left. Oh. Pedro's BDI captured this nice shot of Ben Starav with the Scots pines lined up in front of it. So you obviously don't get that if you start... You do bad alligator. <laughs> uh, if you cross the river, sorry. So remember, we didn't cross the river. On the left, there is a definite path. There it is there. Me and Pedro missed it. So my only advice is, when you come to the big Scots pine, that one there, Look where it is, it's uphill from there. 
And there's those other Scots pines we're talking about we got the photo with earlier on. Going ahead, that's glass mole or mole glass. Can't remember which way round. And that's Starav. Neither of those two are our mountains. We're going left, left, left. We need that guy, that crazy guy who's been at the Devil's Pulpit and Stob Gower to come down there with his um, rubber ring and make it a right um, good ride all the way down. Just like Disney. Dan Bell. Dan Bell, is that who that is? Yep. As most of you should know by now, one of me and Pedro's hobbies is taking photos of planes. And here we have a four engine plane, which means it's probably either a whale, which is an A380, or a jumbo jet. Peter says this reminds him of the fairy falls. Fairy pools. Fairy pools, sorry, on the island of Skye. You've basically got uh, waterfalls coming down um, right into like crystal clear blue, blue pools at the very, very bottom. But I would say is that these ones are not quite as pretty. That's why they're not as busy. Aye. Height has now been gained and very it's opened up some, some new hills. That's Ben Squillard over there, don't know what these are. Um, that's uh, Ben Finlay as Pedro calls it, one of the Etif Hills. Uh, that's a Corbett up there. And uh, we're almost at the BY with uh, Ben Glass Mall, which is up there. This is us at the BY. It's about 2,500 feet. Uh, it's like Socky Hall Street, without the fires. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. So the path up is that squiggly thing over there. And it goes up, and up there. And I'm sure the summit's no far after that. Well, who knows? Anyway, when you get to this height, you get the views. What do we see? Oh, that's uh, Ben Nan Alligans over there behind us. But over there, the, the best thing is definitely Ben Louie. Who is that dude there? Big Ben Louie. Eventually beside him. And over that way, you've got uh, Ben Moore and Stepanian. I'm sure we'll get more views from the top, but there's where we are. So it's still holding a bit of snow in the north face. This is the 24th of June 2018. And the four folk who were in front of us have summited. What a day for it. So that's our first Monroe of the day up there, Stob Cory Albanac. It's a thousand, it's three thousand four hundred and forty odd feet according to my e treks a thousand and eight metres, I think it said. Um, that's the one I thought was mere nine run. <laughs> yes. So. Anyway, it says that the descent can be tricky uh, if it's misty because the second Monroe we're heading um, for that slab over there and up and along and they've built football parks and everything up there. Um, it's, it's not mix it up with Stob Gower. That's Monroe 2 of the day. That's going to be a piece of pie for me and Pedro. We eat minnows like that, don't we, Pedro? Mm -hmm. 928 metres for that second one. Nice views down onto Loch Tower. Couldn't have picked a better day for it. Okay, we've now descended to the Bilah. Um, a bit steep, not the right hymn, but 
it's said to avoid the first rake, but at the second rake, before the stones, oh, ignore the stones, it said, uh, it would say you would find a little cairn, and there it is, and you turn um, left and work your way down. And there were folk in front of us, and I don't know where they've gone, so it must be a long way down, because ultimately we're heading for there. Not Pedro's Napper, not Stomp Gower, but me we'll, well, we're heading down. Aye, but I'm sure we're, we're, we're heading down to somewhere down there. But aye, well, you want to minimise the drop, don't you? Yeah. Apparently, there's a well defined path anyway, so not too worried about it. And that's quite impressive, that mountain. It's almost like uh, the Donald's Mountain, right? Aye. And the views. Oh, the views. Brilliant. I meant to add, we've dropped from 3,400 odd feet to 2,900 odd feet at this bit, but there's going to be more droppage. And that one was obviously a one rolled by the skinniest teeth. And then, so we've descended down the rake. It's a bit rocky. Well, what's the word? Slabs of rock, that's what it is, it's slabs of rock. Sorry for the shakiness. And then we need to go up there. And the second top's over there. I'm just trying to find my E-Trex to see what... What feet we are now. We're 2,500 feet down here. And uh, we need to ascend up there. And sorry for mixing currencies, but that's uh, 968 metres. So we're right down the bottom now, we're heading up towards that one over there, Milnanyan. There's the steepish bit we came down, it's very rocky, as I said, you can see all the rock slabs that we came down. Ah, maybe you're meant to stick to the path in between. It was fun doing some slab hopping. Quite amazing amount of rock about here. Anyway, we better get on and up this second one roll. We've got to point this one out, that's Biddy and Nan Bian. That's that big baby there, right? So the summit's right at the back there. That one there is the deposed Monroe, it's no longer a Monroe, it's too close to the real summit. That one there's Stob Cody Scremach. And there's a cracking ridge all the way along there, and the, the boys were doing that in winter. And uh, they shit their pants and phoned the copter. And no wonder, look at some of the drops off that baby. I wouldn't be doing that. And uh, the big Ben in the background. So he's a totally different mountain from this angle, you don't have that peak. But look at the amount of rock, and it's still holding snow at the end of June. There's the bit we descended. Well, well, well. <laughs> Cones all round. For me all and round. Pedro. Eh? Me and Pedro. 99 each. Yay! We started in 2009 and then I started in 2008 and I'm at 99. Whew. We've not done the same 99. But we've done a lot together, haven't we, Pedro? Yeah, we have. So this is officially our last last Monroe and double figures. It is. So from now on, it'll be triple figures. Sure will. What's going on the big hundred? Just keep, keep watching the videos and find out. Yep. And this one's Meal Nan Yoon. Meal Nan Yoon. Nine hundred and twenty-eight meters. I'm very sorry. I said nine six eight. It's nine two eight. And if I look at my e tracks. Trusty e says 3,056 feet, so it's just the Monroe. And the time is quarter to six in the evening on the 24th of June. So if we've ever got enough light, it's today. And we started at quarter to ten. Quarter to ten this morning. So that's ten to six o'clock, that's ten, eight hours to get here. 
It's been an absolute roaster of a day though. So, and we've been taking lots of footage and panels for you folks on YouTube to salivate over. Especially you, Mr. Munoz and Corbett's. Pedro says hi to Big Pete. Maybe no. Hi, hi, hi. I like it does. Okay, we're going to play Name That Monroe. So this one's Meal Nan Ewan. That one's Stob Gower. You can't see Stob Corey Adair. Um, over there you've got Ben Ashawa Adair. Well, you've got the four of the Orky Wall. Mm, one of them being uh, Ben Adathade. Ben Derain, I forget the name of the fourth one. Then you've got, uh, in the background there, certainly, you've got Ben Moore and Stabinian. And then you've got Ben Shalom. And... That'll be uh, Ben Oss and Ben Dub Craig. And then there's Big Ben Louie and Ben Shalib next to him. Pardon me, there's four of the Tindrum Hills. Oh, away in the background there. That's got to be things like Ben Vorlick and Ben Vane and Ben Booty. And then there's no more Monroe's until you get round to um, the, the Dalmali Horseshoe. So there's four there, including Ben Crook in the pointed number. Um, forget the names of them all. That's Ben Alligan there. Uh, that's that meal Ben Glass thing. Uh, Starav in the background. The one we've just done. Um, Stop Corey Albanach. And that's the pointed bit that you see if you're taking photographs from the Black Mount Estate, which is just down behind me, directly behind me just now. Um, what's that? Ben Squillard. Finlay, the one that begins with you, uh, Donald's Mountain in the background there with the peak, and then you've got uh, Biddy and Nan being Stop Corey Scramach, there you've got the wee buckle, and there you've got um, the length that is Buckle Et of Moor, so there's two Monroe's there, the Monroe at the back, and uh, Stop Dierg. There's the curb bridge and there's the Crowberry Tower and there's the Crowberry Gap. Ooh, that's a gap right up Scared there. Scared you lose the one that's there. Aye, Yuli. And then we're on to the Essians. And oh, we've uh, missed out all the ones in the background there. Sorry, back over here we've got um, the end of the Ring of Steel. What's that big one called in the Ring of Steel, Pedro? Scared man. Scared man, that's it there. It's right behind the Anakiga Ridge. Two Munro's in the Anakiga Ridge. You've got um, Nagrua Grecian there, and that's Ben Nevis in the background with the CMD Aret to Carmor Jerg, and uh, Binny and Moore's there somewhere. There's he. Sorry, I think Binny and Moore and Nagrua Grecian. Ah. Those dudes. Could see the grey quarries earlier. It's the light's making it difficult. That's my excuse. Ben Alder maybe away over there, and that's us almost finished our sweep. Supermarket sweep. Oh, he's dead. Right, we're going to head down now. Uh, that's uh, just gone six o'clock. So we've dropped over two thousand feet of height. It's pretty steep coming down. And uh, you need to choose your path carefully because there's lots of um, cliffs up there, shall we say. And it's boggy as hell. But um, we've stopped for our last coffee of the day. And then the walk from here. Is it down there, Jim? Yeah, it's, it's down there. Walk, then a flat walk back to the car. So we're down now. What a struggle. Um, we're now on the Land Rover track, so it'll not be long. Oh, eventually you reach a real Land Rover path. 
and you go left on it and it takes you back to the wee bridge over the River Etif. What a day, 99 Monroe's done to the bag now for Brockes. Yes. <laughs> long, long day. A long, long day, aye. I mean, that's... It'll be four, uh, 12 hours by the time we get back to the car. 12 hours. There is the vehicle. There is the start and the end of the walk. Honestly. 11 hours, 40 minutes. My G's are out. Time to go.